Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for our prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're still not joining us, what in the world are you still waiting for? Come and come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the information on the screen here. The link will be in the description box down below the title of the video. I also want to remind all of you that our marriage and relationship bootcamp prayer meeting live is Friday, the 19th of July at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on YouTube. Make sure you mark your calendar, invite somebody. It promises to be a great time in the presence of God. So come join me, and uh, I know that your lives will be better for it. You will be blessed, you will be transformed, you'll be healed, delivered, and set free. In the name of Jesus, I brought you the prayer therapy session for today. This is a prophetic prayer for supernatural turnaround. And we're going to glean from Genesis chapter 50, from verse 15 to 21. This is the story of Joseph. And when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requit us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren. They made up something. And their sin, for they did not, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. All of a sudden, they're servants of God. And, Jesus, and Joseph wept when they spake unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, ye thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not. I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And the session has begun. The session has begun. I love the story of Joseph. It is a, a, the, the epitome of supernatural turnaround. The, I mean, glaring God, glaringly, God was fighting for Joseph. Joseph's story confirms what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 36, where it says, A man's enemies will be those of his own household. Mm, we also see this in the case of Joseph, but we serve a just and righteous God who turned the situation around in his favor. God turned it around for his good and his suffering was not in vain. His suffering was not in vain. His suffering was not in vain. And just like God said to Joseph, Joseph started to reign in the midst of his enemies. Yes, he certainly did. He started to reign in the midst of his enemies. They were now in his mercy and they didn't know what to do with their lives without him. Ah, yeah. Psalm 110 and verse 2 says, The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. Listen, if you've not yet watched the prophetic word from Sunday, you need to go and watch that because I know it will bless you and it will also give you, you know, the, the perspective for why we're praying the way that we are praying. It will bless you. It will bless you. And so, Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you praise, honor, and adoration. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you because you are the God who turns situations around. You are the God who turns things around in the favor of your children. Oh, we give you praise and we ask for forgiveness of every sin. Every sin and iniquity that easily beset us. Father, forgive us. Cleanse us. Purify us. Sanctify us. Soul, body, and spirit. Even with your blood. In the name of Jesus. That you renew a right spirit within us and give us the mind of Christ. I have come to pray for your people today. Lord, I pray for as many as are under the sound of my voice. I pray for you today that as God did for Joseph, when he turned Joseph's situation around, may the Lord turn your situation around for your good and in your favor as from today in the 
mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord make you to begin to rule even in the midst of your enemies as from today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, may you begin to rule in the midst of your enemies as from today in the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah 60 and verse 14, I pray for you today. May the sons of those who have afflicted you come bending unto you and all those who despised you, let them bow themselves down at the soles of your feet and may they call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord prepare a table for you. Ayah. Even in the presence of your enemies as he did David. Even in the presence of your naysayers. And may he anoint your head with oil. And may your blessings overflow right before their eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. May your new song, even in this new month and in this new season of your life be. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Ellen. You can put your name in there. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Helen, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turned again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I pray for you today. You have sown in tears. May you begin even as from today to reap in joy in the name of Jesus. You have gone forth weeping. You are you bearing precious seed. You will doubtly come again with rejoicing in the name of Jesus. May the Lord release unto you a mighty harvest. Ayana knows that here. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord, the rewarder of those who diligently seek him, give you a hundred, even a thousand fold harvest in this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Ayana. I pray for you today. May you achieve in a very short time that which takes others a lifetime to achieve. In the name of Jesus, my God. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We give you praise now for having answered. For you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you with this prophetic prayer has blessed you this prayer therapy session make sure you subscribe it's free make sure you give it a, the video a thumbs up to give it momentum on youtube make sure you share it just press that share button it gives you a link to share with your loved ones your friends your frenemies because they need jesus so they can leave you alone and uh, also don't forget to leave me your comment if you would like to do so don't forget to join us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Another one is tomorrow. And don't forget next week, uh, Friday, the 19th of July, will be our next marriage and relationship boot camp prayer meeting live right here on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss it. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed rest of your day.